How's it going? Chris back here with another video and uh, another long, month long hiatus from your boy. And uh, yeah, this is one of those things that it's me, right? Take month long breaks. Uh, but I'm here. I'm here and I'm okay. Everything's fine. Um, except for the COVID thing, right? Everyone's, you know, that's the thing that's on everyone's mind. And I just wanted to talk about that real quick. Just my experiences with what's going on in the world, I guess, right now. In my small little part of the world. Uh, I live in a very small community. Of maybe 5,000 people surrounding. Um, yeah, it's very small. We have, like, two grocery stores. Like, two gas... No, three gas stations. Um, and so many bars. For the amount of the whole town. Like, there's too many. Um, that sound is my pug. Uh, Gizmo right now. She's sniffing things. I have her in this room with Rowan. The door shut. Because I tried to do this video once already. And with the door open, she's trying to play with the cats. And the cats are having, like, no, we're not playing today. And so she barks at them. And I couldn't get a word in edgewise. So, that's why if you hear... That's Giz. Uh, so yeah, small town, stupid people. Uh, we have 66 presumative cases in Saskatchewan, uh, the province I live in, and which is not much comparatively like, to the world, and uh, which is pretty good, right? Right, pretty good. Except for the fact people aren't taking it serious. Social distancing should be a thing, and they're not learning. They're not learning. They don't care. They just... Okay, for instance... Pardon me. Uh, I've been working at the same place. My very first job. For 16 years. It's a long time. Grocery store clerk. If that's not underachiever, I don't know what is. But anyway. That's... Uh, one second. Okay. Just seeing if it's plain or not. Um, yeah, so... 16 years as a grocery store clerk. I got my 15-year award last February. And uh, I was super stoked about it, eh? And uh, it's like the only time they're like, you know, congratulations. Thanks for being with us. Other than that, they're like ambivalent to my existence. Like they don't care at all. <laughs> but now uh, we're deemed essential services. And uh, it's like my boss is just adoring me, which is great, right? But I know the reason for it is because I'm at work, so they don't have to really do anything. And if they watch this, they're going to be very, very pissed off because they're, oh, now he wants to bitch about it. Anyways, they don't care. People in central services, like like police and ambulance, they get, they get their, uh, like, what do you call it? Respect. They get respect. Excuse me. Here, yeah, look. Um, they get respect for their jobs. We don't. We we get made fun of. We get like sworn at. People just don't care. And now, uh, as this thing is going on, you're supposed to clean more and try to keep everyone clean. And we're running out of stuff because people are panic buying, and it's hard to keep up. Right? Start, starts to take a toll on you a little bit. So, wow, she is ripping that up. Um, so, yeah, it starts taking a toll on you. And now we're open an hour extra for senior citizens in the morning. Uh, we're usually open 9 to 7. Um, 9 to 6 on weekends. Sorry, on Sundays. Um, but 8 to 7 now. So, from 8 to 9 is an actual like senior citizen block. Where they can shop. Uh, which is awesome. Which is they need to get their stuff and go home. Everyone should be staying home after the shopping, right? 
So a little story to tell you what happened on the 20th of this month, which was a Friday. I close every Friday. I'm like the guy who has to close and wash people and all that kind of stuff. Ooh, good stuff. Um, so here I am doing everything I can, holding on to what I am, pretending I'm a Superman. Uh, no. Uh, so I'm there at work and in the toilet paper aisle, we don't really have much toilet paper, but we had toilet paper in that day in the morning. So in the toilet paper aisle, uh, it shares one side with toilet paper, one side with pet products, like food and stuff. And uh, this elderly lady, I've seen her come in a lot of times by herself. So I think she's a widow. She doesn't come in with any kids. She's always by herself. And she has a kitty. So she goes down, grabs some toilet paper. And instead of taking the cart, she just leaves the cart there. And it's 8.30. It's half an hour before the, the store. Easy, look. She's trying to go to the door. It's half an hour before the store opens to the public. So she's safe, I think, right? So she leaves her cart, turns around to go get some cat food. Well, lo and behold, there's this lady uh, with her kids. She had two kids. And she comes down that aisle. And I'm like, is not a senior citizen but we can't send people away uh the 20th is like a, it's family allowance you, you get money for having kids in canada so here she is balling right just she's got two kids and like a bun in the oven so she's gonna have more kids more money more money and uh so she goes down the aisle sees the older lady have her back turned and I, she doesn't notice me because if you're wearing your, your co work at the co-op. If you were wearing your red shirt, it's kind of like you're invisible until like something's wrong and they'll get mad at you. So she walks down, she sees, she sees the toilet paper in the lady's cart and her back turned and she takes the toilet paper out of that lady's cart and puts it in hers. Not noticing that I noticed and she starts to walk away. And I'm like, excuse me, ma'am, uh, that's that lady's there. And she's like, no, it's not. I'm like, yes, yes, it is. I've seen her have it there. She's like, no, you didn't. Yes. And uh, I was like, this time is perfect, you know, to shop for elders. Maybe you could wait a little half, like in a half an hour and you come by. Well, in a half an hour, there won't be nothing left. Well, the other day you bought toilet paper. There's no way you can go through that many rolls in one day. So uh, I, that's what I said. There's no way you could do that. So I took the toilet paper out of her cart and put it in the old lady's cart. As the old ladies were coming by, she didn't really see anything, right? And then she's like, she looks like, what's going on? She sees that I have my hands on it. And she's like, what's going on? I was like, oh, there's just been a mix-up, ma'am. Don't worry about it. And she's like, no, I'm worried about it. What's going on? Well, that lady just took your toilet paper. I don't know. You know, I'm just like, it's okay. She just took your toilet paper. I fixed it. And she's like, looked at the old, the old lady looks at the younger lady and she's like, but why? And like, that made me like, wonder too, why? There's no point in being like that. There's, treat people like you want to be treated, right? I'm not a religious guy whatsoever, not at all. But if you want to be treated well, you know, treat other people well too. But she had no respect for this old lady and she's just worrying about herself. I've seen that woman with the two kids. Uh, school's out, by the way. There's no more school in, in our town. It's canceled indefinitely, is what they said. So now she has kids at home, right? Doesn't know what to do with them. I've seen that lady in the 20th. It's, I think, the 24th today. Every day since then. Coming into the store, buying the same stuff. In our town, too, it's like... You're supposed to stay home. Everyone's telling everyone to stay home. You know, we'll get through this. Social distancing, all that stuff. People don't care. They don't They don't give a shit. And that's what's pissing me off. And I usually don't get ranty, but I'm getting ranty. And I don't know, I'm upset about this whole thing. Stay home, right? You got your stuff now. Go home, right? And I'm not trying to pick on that one lady. There's many people I see that shop for the same things every day and then they go home. But they come back the next day. Like, 
staying home means stay home, home, right? Stay there. Like if I had a chance, this place, this is heaven. Again, not a religious guy, but this is, would you not want to be here? I do. I want to be here all day, every day. I love this place. I love my life at home. Stay home. I bet, you know, the cliche, the Hulk meme, I'm sure all of you guys freaking seen it. You know, it's like I was made for this. You know, people getting quarantined. Gamers, I was made for this. And, uh, yeah. Kizzy, hey, look. Want to play with toy? There you go. She's like, if I don't get played with, I will play with something in this room. And I'm like, no, no. But yeah, I guess this is like the first DC or Dia rant. But it's one of those things that I just had to talk about. And it feels way better that I had I could talk about it to somebody other than my wife. Which I feel so bad for her. Because she's like borderline diabetic. She has to take medicine for it. And this thing attacks people with immune systems. Like, like low immunity systems. And she's got one of those things. And her boss doesn't give a crap about her. Because she has to be at work for the people who aren't, right? And I, I apologize for the people who lost their jobs. It sucks. I'm very sorry. But we'll get through this. We'll all get through it. It just, we need to work together. At a distance. Social distancing. We gotta work together though. And we're all made for this. I know we can do it. I just we have to be positive and treat people with respect and just keep rocking, right? Keep doing doing the thing. Doing it. Sorry for the little slight distractions cuz I uh, watched the puggy. She's uh she's in heat. So that's fun. Um I never had a female dog in heat before. Uh she's getting fixed ASAP. But with this whole COVID thing, we that's up in the air, right? The the, the vets are essential. But then we have to go down to the city, and I don't want to travel. So it's one of those things, right? Everyone's going through something. And I, I thought maybe if I talked about it, it would get out of my head for a little bit. And it, it helped. So I, I thank you guys for hearing me rant. I was probably going to get thumbed the hell down because I don't rant. And I get all over the place. But yeah, that's all I wanted to talk about. Thanks for stopping by, guys. Um, I appreciate it. I really do. It helped me a lot. And uh, we'll do this. We'll... It's easy, guys. Come on. It's easy. Stay home, right? Just stay home. Come on. Play some video games. Play that Steam library you guys got. That Raspberry Pi that you have every single PlayStation 1 game you have ever. Do it. Stay home. It's fun. Game out. Let's do it. All right? Okay. See you guys. Thanks for watching.